once again, I found myself on my computer staring at a blank page on Microsoft Word, itching to open a tab on the internet and settle into a few hours of Facebook or Tetris or Candy Crush. But this time, I just couldn't procrastinate. We've all worked so hard to get here, and I owe you all a speech worthy of what you've done for me and for Middle Township over the past four years. So I'll begin with the formalities Google told me I should include, the thank you. Truly, there are so many people who deserve a huge thanks and a giant hug, if you're into that kind of thing. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone who's here today. It's an important day for all of the graduates, and we're thankful that you're here to celebrate with us. On behalf of the entire class of 2013, I'd like to thank our teachers, coaches, and administrators. Over the past four years, we've grown in maturity, intellect, self-awareness, and in unity. Our growth and transformation was made possible through you who have devoted your careers to providing us with a quality education and beyond. Of course, we must extend our gratitude to our family, especially our parents who raised us to be who we are and who offer endless encouragement, advice, support, and wisdom. I'd like to take a few moments to thank those who have helped me bring me personally to the stage. First, my friends. Whether our friendship was fleeting or lasting, whether I've known you for years or only since we were freshmen, the relationships I had with you have taught me a world of wisdom about myself and my place in our community. Thank you for time spent together, advice given, arguments fought, encouragement shared, pictures taken, adventures embarked upon, compassion offered, and simply for the friendship you've given me. I'll carry a piece of each one of you with me forever. Next, my teachers and coaches. For fear of leaving anyone out, I'll only mention a few. Ms. Nowry, of course, Mrs. Lambert, Mrs. Brader, Ms. Woodring, Mrs. Chu, Mr. Orr, Mrs. Tui, Mrs. Brewer, Mrs. Julian, Mrs. Walter, Mrs. Hope, Ms. Hamilton, Madam Schrader. I could continue, but I'm afraid I don't have enough time allotted to mention the entire staff of Middle Township High School. Finally, my family. My big sister, Kim, for being the best role model anyone can have. My little sister, Mary, for sharing with me the unbreakable bond of sisterhood. My twin brother and fellow graduate, Matt, for sharing this journey with me from the start, always side by side. You're the best brother ever. My Nana, for her unconditional love and endless sacrifice. My Papa, who didn't make it to this occasion, but who I know would be beaming with pride as he only was. And of course my mom, for being the rock and glue of our family, never letting down her expectations, yet always expressing her love for us exactly as we are. With those tedious but necessary thank yous said and done, I'd like to shift my focus to the class of 2013. I'm honored to be part of this class. From where I stand, our class is a masterpiece, similar to those of Van Gogh and Monet. We're like one of those huge jigsaw puzzles with hundreds of pieces that come together to produce a beautiful piece of art. From afar, the image is continuous and flawless, but when scrutinized, one can see each individual piece that contributes to the artwork as a whole. Similarly, each class of the each member of the class of the United States, oh my goodness, each member of the class of 2013 contributes to the success of the class in its entirety. Each piece represents one of us holding a spot that no other can fit. The unique talents, abilities, and passions that God has given us define how we fit into the puzzle. And if even one piece is missing, the entire image is complex. Likewise, our high school experiences would not have been the same without the personal interactions and relationships we made in each puzzle piece that sits on the field today. Our class depends on the individual as well as our unique. Whose reading voice is as soothing as Jess Potter's, 
and whose passion for all things Japanese is as fascinating as runs. Whose voices are as sweet as our four March sisters who bowed us in Little Women and again tonight singing the national anthem. So, fellow graduates, as we move forward on our separate journeys, let's not forget those qualities, talents, and dreams that make us who we are. Take this puzzle piece that I've left on your chair as a reminder that you are essential in making up the picture of this class complete. And there's a place in your future where your puzzle piece will fit just as perfectly. Never compromise who you are, because you are made with a purpose that only you can fit. Wherever you may go, know that you will always be a part of the class of 2013. And wherever I